What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Kayla back on Vibe with Kay. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I installed this V part wig from start to finish, from prepping my natural hair to installing the actual wig. This wig is a V part wig, which is 24 inches. If you want to know more details about this wig, please go check out the description box down below as well as the discount code. This video is actually sponsored by Arian21. So thank you so much Arian21 for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited for you guys to see the whole process. I love to incorporate my natural hair into my content. So I'm glad that you guys are able to see the full on process on how I installed this beautiful wig. Y'all. Yeah. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Natural. <laughs> no, for real. Like, look how natural this wig looks on me, y'all. Hey, if somebody believed it was my natural hair, I don't wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them, y'all. Wouldn't blame them, y'all. This hair is actually perfect for the summer just because you can put it in the water. Like, we don't want to worry about getting our hair wet during a little vacation. You know what I mean? Like, this is perfect. You can have your natural hair out while also having a little curls, give me vacation vibes for the girls, okay? Yes, all you gotta do is your edges. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it just for your vacation that you might have coming up or wherever you wanna go. But anyways, if you tune into the V part wigs, you already, you already on the right track. So let's just get into the tutorial. Hey my loves, thank you for tuning in today's video. To get this video started, the process on installing this v-part wig i'm basically going to start by washing my natural hair i did do a cute little natural hairstyle if you guys are interested in more short tutorials you can definitely go check out my tiktok account but i was in love with this hairstyle but however it needed to come out um, my hair was a little bit more stiff in the front with all the gel that i had put in so we're going to start by washing my natural hair first i do use this cute um i don't know what it's called this uh shower head this shower head it has a filter on it which i have seen major results from my hair growing from this shower head there's a lot of benefits from the shower head but that's for another video y'all can check that out on my tiktok account another time but um i'm gonna first off start by rinsing out all of the stuff that's been in my hair i had gel edge control heat protectant all of that stuff my hair is a little dry so i first off started to use a deep conditioner Alright, so now I'm just raking through the deep conditioner throughout my hair. Um, not only did I apply the deep conditioner because my hair was straight before installing this wig, but I think it is important to, you know, take care of your natural hair under your wig. So installing in installing wigs and just having like, you know, making sure your hair is moisturized under the wig is very essential, at least for me. Not gonna lie y'all, y'all are getting a two in one type of video. It's giving natural hair content and a V part wig in one. I'm kinda here for it, cause I love both like my natural hair and wigs. So it is important for me to actually take care of my hair under the wig. But I'm starting off by putting in some, sham some shampoo. Um, I mainly focus on the roots y'all. Another tip when it comes to shampooing is just using the Denman brush to, um, to really bring up all that buildup that might be in your hair from gel and all that edge control or whatever style you might have before. But let me just tell you, my hair felt so clean after this. It really did.
All right, so now that we are done washing my natural hair, I wanted to show you guys the wig packaging. First off, I wanna say the wig packaging is cute and it did come very nice and neat. I think that is so important because I've gotten wigs before that the packaging just was beat up when I got it. But with Arian 21, the packaging came out really nice and neat with everything in its place and nothing was damaged. It first came with some deep conditioners for the wig for aftercare. I think this is really important and I've used these before. So it came out, came with a lot, which was really necessary because um, when I did use the deep conditioners for the wigs, it made my the hair actually really soft. So I'm glad that they sent those over. This is the hair. It came in this little duffel bag with Arian 21 in gold prints. Yes, I'm here for the duffel bag. The duffel bag was really like luxurious, you know what I mean? It came with a wig cap, which I don't like to use often. I mean, with lace fronts, yes, but with B-part wigs, it's not really necessary, but it is nice to have those, you know, just in your hair box or, you know, just for future wigs. So this is the hair that they sent over. I also wanted to insert a really detailed clip on how many clips that are in the wig, and they do have combs on that side. I will show you guys how I installed the wig with the clips and how to you know install it inside your hair but i do have thin hair so i think that these clips are really good as well for people that do have thin hair it does still grip your hair so it won't move at all all right you guys so it is the next day i am installing the actual v part wig i decided to air dry my hair one thing about v part wigs you do not have to put no heat on your hair if you don't want to it really depends on your hair type but at least for me i didn't have to put heat on it and i preferred not putting heat on my hair so i just let it air dry after you know washing my hair that day so right now you want to take a big chunk of your hair and not like too much but you just know your hair like for me i had to take a big chunk of my hair because my hair is more thinner so i need more hair to cover like the v part so you won't be able to see it so first off, I'm just starting by moisturizing my hair. Um, this is necessary, but it is not necessary as well. Like, just for me, I just love to have my hair moisturized under wigs at least. I mean, not too damp, but just, you know, enough so I'm not itching my head 24-7. So I'm now just like braiding it. I don't know how to do cornrows, so this is the best I can do. And it works. So you don't need to have too many braids to... Um, really lay this v part wig down it's just all on your preference on how like flat you want the v part to lay on your head so i decided to do two braids i did the same process i damped my hair and i also moisturized it i also forgot on the other side to leave out some front hair pieces the front hair pieces are essential just for your edges and to make sure the wig looks very natural and you guys are going to see how like that turned out because that is very important so make sure you guys leave a good amount of hair in the front so you guys can make it look very natural So this is how it should look. You should have about like three parts of the hair out from the braids just to have some good leave out. The more you leave out, I feel like the more natural it will look, but not too much, you know? So since I did not know since I didn't know how to do cornrows, I just like decided to bobby pin these braids up. And this method actually works and I like it because it's beginner friendly and it's really easy for those that don't know how to braid too well. So you can just ask your mom or somebody to do that for you. Um, so here is the wig. It was really soft. So this hair is a V-part wig. It is in black. It is 24 inches with Jerry Curly. And you guys can check out the description box down below for the exact link on this hair. So to start off installing the wig, we're going to use the side combs that you guys seen. And then we're going to install the wig by using the black clips that are like in mostly in the front it's kind of hard to explain but it's more easier for you guys to see so you just want to kind of like dig those into your hair and then snap them 
so first before you even install the wig you're going to unsnap them and then you're going to snap them back once it gets on your hair and i think that this little part that i have out for the leave out really helps you figure out where to place the v part wig so and how far up you need it so now i'm just going to part my hair in the middle with a y not a y2 comb a rat tail comb y'all i can't i'm over here stumbling with my words on this voiceover but yeah make sure that part is straight because then it's not gonna look that cute when i tell y'all trust the process this is prime example to trust the process y'all this wig is gonna look so good like the way i only just put water in this hair and in my hair and it just blends so well i was really amazed on how well it blended y'all i even made tiktoks with this hair and people thought this was my natural hair so i'm telling y'all this hair is so good so good if you have my curl type i think that it will blend a lot better too i don't know what it is but this curl type blends in with my hair so i'm all here for it so i decided to spray my hair just with water and just to comb it out first with the demon brush and i do recommend using the demon brush just so it can combine the curls and the wig together and it'll just like make it one to where it looks just like your natural hair y'all and then i decided to use some mousse you guys can use any mousse it doesn't matter you don't have to use the same one that i have in this video but the mousse is actually going to make the hair really soft and i think that mousse is really good with this wig just because it when it dries up it makes it like a little like more volume comes out from using mousse but it also makes the hair super super soft here i just had to give y'all a close-up because where is the v part at you tell me where is she at yeah yeah i'll wait edges are not even done and you can't even tell where the v part wig is at see i love this hair i love the hair this hair i literally have it in right now as we are speaking i it is so easy to even take out and put back in like if you want to let your hair breathe for like two seconds i don't know then put that john back in it is very very easy to reinstall y'all so i really love this hair and i feel like it's perfect for vacations just because i feel like you know wigs we can get tired of wigs pretty easily so like sometimes we want to let our scalp breathe i can take this whole wig off and install it the next day again in less than like 30 minutes if we're being honest here so i'm just doing my edges with some gorilla snot i was gonna say gorilla glue but we've been there done that with that y'all you know but um I think this was such a fun part of installing this hair is doing the edges because once you do the edges it's gonna blend in even more like it's really gonna look like your hair. Okay y'all, so after I showed you guys that I use water and mousse, I realized that it is important to use like a styling gel. So I don't know if I showed it in this video, but using a styling gel is really gonna lay the frizz away and it's also going to tame the hair in the front. So I definitely suggest you use some gel in the front where like the middle part is. And I think I did do that right after this video, but maybe not in this video, but still with or without the styling gel, it worked for my hair. So here is a full 360 on how the install turned out. I am so in love with this wig, y'all. Like the juicy curls it gives when I put mousse and water in it, like it did its thing and I'm happy with the results. I think 24 inches was perfect for my hair and perfect for the length for my size. You know, I'm short. So this is the final product when it is dry. I think it was a little bit damp here, but just imagine when it's fully fully dry y'all it gives what it's supposed to give if you're interested in seeing like how i styled this hair like as in like what i'm wearing with this hair you guys can follow my instagram 
to see some pictures i took some pictures in this hair y'all i love it i love it i hope you love it like yes look at her All right, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for me. Don't forget to tune into the description box for the, all the details on this wig. And don't forget to tune in for more hair videos I got coming for y'all. I love y'all so much. And thank you all for supporting me. I appreciate it. Bye.